The H3 launch vehicle is an expendable launch system in development in Japan. H3 rockets are liquid propellant rockets with strap-on solid rocket boosters and are planned to be launched from the Tanegashima Space Center in Japan. Mitsubishi and the JAXA have been responsible for the design, manufacture, and operation of the H3. As of July 2015, it was planned that the minimum configuration is to carry a payload of up to 4 tons into sun-synchronous orbit for about 5 billion yen, and the maximum configuration is to carry more than 6.5 tons into geostationary transfer orbit. The first H3 without solid rocket boosters is planned to launch in fiscal year 2020, and with boosters in FY2021. Topic Development The development of H3 was authorized by Japanese government the 17th of May 2013. The H3 launch vehicle is being developed jointly by JAXA and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries (MHI) to launch a wide variety of commercial satellites. H3 was designed with cheaper engines compared to HIIA, so that manufacturing the new launch vehicle would be more cost-effective, with less risk, in a shorter period of time. JAXA was in charge of preliminary design, readiness of the ground facility, and development of new technologies for the H3, while Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is responsible for manufacturing. The main emphasis in design is cost reduction, with planned launch costs for customers are in range of $50 minus 65 million. In August 2018, the first tests of the solid rocket boosters were made. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vehicle description. The H3 launch vehicle is a two-stage rocket. The first stage uses liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as propellants and carries zero, two or four strap-on solid rocket boosters derived from SRBA3 powered by polybutadiene. The first stage is powered by two or three L9 engines which uses expander bleed cycle similar to LE5B. The second stage is powered by a single engine which is an improved LE5B. Topic Variants Each H3 booster configuration has a two digit and a letter designation that indicates the features of that configuration. The first digit represents the number of L9 engines on the main stage, either two or three. The second digit indicates the number of SRB3 solid rocket boosters attached to the base of the rocket, and can be 0, 2, or 4. All layouts of solid boosters are symmetrical. The letter in the end shows the length of the payload fairing, either short S or long L. For example, an H324L has two engines, four solid rocket boosters, and a long fairing, whereas an H330S has three engines, no solid rocket boosters, and a short fairing. As of November 2018, three configurations are planned H330, H322, and H324. A previously mentioned variant, the H332, was cancelled in late 2018 when the performance of the H322 variant, sporting one less engine on the core booster, was found to be greater than anticipated, putting it close to the H332's performance. While the H332 would have provided greater performance, JAXA cited SpaceX's experience with their Falcon 9 rocket, which routinely lifted commercial communications satellite payloads to less than the gold standard geosynchronous transfer orbit of 1,500 meters per second of Delta V remaining to get to Geo, leaving the satellites themselves to make up the difference. 
As commercial clients were apparently willing to be flexible, JAXA proposed redefining their reference transfer orbit to something lower, believing commercial clients would prefer the less expensive if slightly less capable H322 rocket, even if the client had to then load additional propellant onto their satellite for it to reach GEO, than a more expensive H332. Topic. Launch services H3 will have a dual launch capability, but MHI is focused more on dedicated launches. In order to prioritize schedule assurance for customers, as of 2018, MHI is aiming to price the H3 launch service on par with SpaceX's Falcon 9. Topic: Planned launches. Sources: Japanese Cabinet. Equals equals notes. <laughs>